everybody, Steve Jr. here from Bex Outdoors. I got a tip for you this week. Overcalling. Too many people overcall their turkeys. They bring a turkey call into the woods and they feel like they're running a contest routine and they're on a stage. Overcalling is not going to kill turkeys. It might kill some turkeys. It might kill the stupid turkeys. The ones that are young, the two-year-olds that are real excited, real hot, looking to get that hen. You'll kill those birds, you'll kill jigs, but to kill those consistent big three, four-year-old gobblers like me and my father done over the years, year after year, is subtle but aggressive calling tactics. What I'm saying when I say subtle yet aggressive is overcalling is something you never want to do with a turkey. Like a duck or a goose, if they're coming, let them come. I might call a few times, let a bird know I'm there, let them pinpoint me if I'm cutting and running, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much shut up. I'm gonna throw some soft purrs and clucks at him. Maybe a few yelps and, yelps and cuts if I feel like he's kind of veering away from me, kind of reline him back up onto my position. If I have a decoy or not, it's thick, depending on what the woods is like. You'd have to play that ear to ear and see what you've got for terrain in your area where this gobbler's located. What I'm gonna show you real quick is what I will do to start if I get a bird fired up with some soft yelps, maybe a few cuts, I'm going to explain to you real quick in like a 30 second demonstration of how I would work that bird in. It's 8, eight o'clock in the morning. I just pulled up to a farm. I've got a buddy of mine. We hammer a bird. He's gobbling. He's gobbling pretty good to a locator. We get down. We get about 150 yards set up from him. We know he's strutting in this top pasture but we need to calm down into this woods because there's no way for us to get in the pasture with them. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get to where I know I can be set up. I'm going to stay about 25 behind yards behind my guy with the gun. They already know what they got to do, so I'm going to drop back. But while they're setting up, I'm going to hit the, hit the gobbler with this. If he fires back right to that, eight of the ten times, at least in New England, I know that bird's hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him 30 seconds, a minute. I'm going to sit down, get all my stuff together, and I'm going to come back real excited. Hit him with something like this. fires back and gobbles back to that. What I normally do from there is I'm just going to let the bird come. Give him a few soft purrs and clucks. My year, over the years that I experienced, I've noticed that the bird's going to come a little ways and he's going to gobble on his own. He's gobbling on his own looking for you. He's looking for that hen. Most guys are going to hammer back right back to him and yelp right to him. What that's going to cause is that gobbler to strut and hold up. What we like to call in turkey hunting woods is hang up. Sometimes he'll still commit and he'll make his way, but it's going to be a slow process. So what I like to do is just sound like a, a hen or maybe two hens softly feeding in the woods. And I'll just throw soft purrs and clucks with a few scratching of the leaves. You'll be surprised how quick that gobbler gets into the gear gun range. And if it becomes five, eight minutes, and I don't, haven't heard the bird gobble, I can't see him, can't hear him spitting and drumming, I'm going to come back with just a soft call like this. See where he's at. See if he's on his way. See if he's leaving. Maybe he's right over that knoll and I can't see him over the ridge. He's just not strutting. That will give you a good idea of where to pinpoint that gobbler from there. But nine out of ten times that bird, when you be quiet and you start purring and clucking and scratching the leaves, you're going to hear him gobble real close and keep gobbling his way coming into you looking for you. So just stay patient. Keep the purrs and clucks. Don't overcall. This isn't a contest stage. We're in the woods. We're all trying to do it for the same goal, get that big gobbler and fill our tank. So I hope that helps you with your gobbler this 2013 season. Good luck, everybody.